Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today it is the 15th of October, 2023. But just remember this reading is timeless. So whenever you're watching it is when it's meant to be watched. Just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Messages for Pisces. First card of the reading, we've got Mature Woman. So this Mature Woman could be you. It could be someone in your energy. Just remember, Tarot has no gender, so it's just energy. Mature Woman, someone that's wise, someone that's nurturing, loving. We've got Main Female. So there could be a main female in your life, someone I feel is handing you a rose, there's roses behind you, you could like roses, roses could be significant, flowers are transformation, this person doesn't actually have to be female, just in this feminine energy of someone that's loving, someone that's wanting to give something, and then we've got great fortune coming out. So there's something coming towards you, Pisces, some energy, some type of feminine energy that could be coming to your home. You know, this could be a main female in your life or a main male. Family room. I think family room is up to a week. Okay, we'll grab out some tarot. And we'll see what Divine would like you to be aware of today. Someone's coming to help you. Someone's wanting to help you. You know, great fortune is something that's, you know, great. Something that's going to make you happy. Messages for Pisces. So we have the Nine of Staffs. Then we have the Eight of Cups. You could have been fighting for something, Pisces, that I feel you may have not won the situation. You walked away, but you walked straight into some type of abundance. Something handed to you from Divine. We've got the Countess of Coins. center of your reading today Pisces the six of swords so as I said you're you're moving towards karma water karma thoughts karma environment you could be actually physically moving we've got the page of staffs temperance The Count of Cups. And the Nine of Coins. The Lovers on the back of the deck. And Death. Okay. Let's get some clarifiers out on this, but... As I said, I feel in the past, Pisces, you were fighting for something with that Nine of Wands coming out, the Wounded Warrior energy, fighting for something you believe in. What's the Nine of Staffs? What's the Nine of Staffs for Pisces? So we have the Moon. feel like you're fighting for yourself also being the wounded warrior you know you have those boundaries up and then we got the nine of wands again so nines could be significant 
Nines is near completion. We've got the Queen of Cups coming out. So this is you. I feel like you were giving to someone. You were giving something to somebody. You're fighting for yourself, though. I feel in this situation. But there was something being hidden from you with the moon coming out. I feel like with the chariot coming out, cancer energy, this could be in this other energies chart that you are having some type of disagreement with. But I feel like this is like supposed to be part of, you know, the journey, that moon path. You know, we've got the domestic dog and the wild dog. And I feel like it's something that's, you know, a little hiccup along, along your path because you're at the nines. So you're nearly there. But I feel like this situation was something that was unfulfilling, that you walked away from. What's the Eight of Cups? We have the Tower. So there could have been a Tower moment that happened. Something. This was something that wasn't built on steady foundation. This wasn't fulfilling because we've got those Eight of Cups coming out. And then we've got the Nine of Cups. So you could have manifested this. You could have thought this was something that was a wish fulfillment in your life. This was something that was supposed to be here with temperance coming out, Sagittarius energy. But I feel like your truth and happiness is family, children, you could have children. <clears throat> I feel like this person, you know, was a bit self-indulging with this Nine of Cups also coming out as to why some kind of tower some kind of tower happened and I feel you walked away. I feel like there wasn't any balance in this situation. And, you know, you're following Divine's protection and Divine's protection is pulling you away from that situation towards this new one. So what is this Ace of Coins? We got the King of Swords. So I feel like you turned into the King of Swords after this, using your logic to make decisions and not emotion. We've got the Knight of Wands and the Emperor. So there could be someone coming into your life. They could have Aries in, your, in their chart. Someone wanting to come and help with something. This person could have children with you. They could have children. This person is older, more mature. As I said, they could have Aries in their chart, but they're wanting to come in passionately towards you. This person has a mission to come and help you with something, come and give you something. You know, if this is love, if this is something like money, some kind of help with money, because there is passion coming out. I feel this person, I feel this person is attractive and I feel like they're attracted to you. But with the King of Swords, they're riding towards this person that's using logic over, you know, over emotion to make decisions. But I feel like this is someone that's supposed to be in your life, a soulmate, because we've got a divine pair coming out. So, you know, you're walking away from that past situation to something that, you know, these both these people are supposed to be in your life, but I feel like that other person was like some kind of karmic lesson that you needed to leave to walk towards this new start with somebody new. They don't actually have to be new. There was a night coming out, so they could come in and out of your life. So what's the Countess of Coins? We've got the Knight of Pentacles. I saw the Three of Wands, so... This is someone that I feel comes in after you leave that situation. We've got the Magician, Virgo Energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. So this person could have Virgo in their chart. They don't have to with the Magician coming out. There is Earth Energy around here with the Countess of Coins also. You could have children with this person. You could be married to them. But there's someone wanting to come in with, re with a relationship, someone that's a slow mover someone that does take their time, but this person is manifesting you. This person wants you in their life. They wanna work on things with you. They wanna give you some type of helping hand. If this is, you know, not just love, this is money, uh, time, effort, 
and I feel like you're now moving towards, you know, happiness and success. And you're moving towards karma water because that's, you know, that's what you want. You want safe ground. What's the Six of Swords for Pisces? We've got the Ten of Wands. So, yes, as I said, like, there was some type of burden. I feel you're still holding it, though. You're just about to let go of it, I feel, when you walk into this new this new town. You know, it doesn't actually have it be a new, a new town. It's just, like, a new frame of mind, thinking more calmly. And then we've got the Nine of Swords. So yes, you're moving towards karma water, you're healing. You could be in your head about letting go of a situation because you're giving your love to this. You're giving your love to this burden. You're giving your emotions to this burden. With the page coming out, it's not much. So there's not much you're giving to these, these burdens that you're holding anymore. You're sort of, you're still holding onto it because we've got these you got like the 10 and then we've got the nine of swords too. So you're in your head about something. You may not be able to sleep about moving on from a situation. You know, but you're healing, you're getting there. Every day is a new day, Pisces. What is the page of staffs? There's some good news coming towards you, I feel. Once you walk into this new town, this new setting. What's the page of staffs? We've got the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the High Priestess, the Sun. So Pisces, I feel while you're walking into that new town, that new frame of mind, that calmer water, there's someone coming behind you, running up. They want to tell you something, some type of messenger. Someone's bringing something in. They could have fire in their chart, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There could be an age difference between you and them, but this is a messenger, someone that's on a mission. You know, while you walk away, while you're walking away, they want to give you a cup. So that'll equal nine, nine cups. So the nine of cups, some type of wish fulfillment. This person wants to bring in emotions, someone that comes in and out of your life. They could have water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They could also, there's a lot of water coming out. Um, but this person is passionate about you. This person doesn't want you to leave the situation. They weren't giving you the right amount of cups in the past. You know, there's eight cups standing there. Then now they're wanting to give you an extra one when you're leaving. And I feel intuitively, you know, this is going to happen with the high priestess coming out, Pisces Cancer energy. You know that this person is going to come in with some type of truth. You know that this person wants more than they say they do. Like, this is good news. But you, you're moving on towards karma, karma waters from, you know, this person, this situation. Okay. We'll grab out all the clarifiers again. So I have more cards for the future energy. But we've got temperance coming out. We've got the king of cups and the nine of coins. So there's someone I feel wanting to come in towards you. They look at you very attractively. I feel this is coming in in the future. They're wanting to give you their love because they see how attractive you are i feel like they feel like they're missing out on your abundance so this person could be someone that's you know in ego a bit you know but they do come out i feel like this count of cups so you know they do have a bit of emotion there but they are holding it back What is temperance for the future energy for Pisces? We've got temperance. So 
So we've got a lot of doubles. Twos could be significant. Uh, I look at twos as like the twin flame number. So this person could be a twin flame. You know, as I said, there's some type of soulmate. We've got the three of cups. And the four of cups so this person i feel missed an opportunity because they were uh, looking at other options uh, they could have had a three-party situation going on in the background that i feel you may not have known about this person is upset about that past that was lost not realizing that the love's still there um, but i feel like in the future they do want balance and you know, I feel at the moment this person's receiving their karma. They could have Sagittarius in their chart. But as I said, there's some type of twin flame, someone that's supposed to be in your life. This person, I feel, is trying to balance out their own life at the moment. What is the Count of Cups? We've got the Ace of Swords. Judgment and the fool, the Ace of Cups. So this person wants to come in and give it to you. And they give you their love, their time. They could have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person was holding back their feelings in the past, but now they're out of their emotions. They're out of the water. They're on the land. They're ready to come in with this cup. They do look a bit nervous though, but they're taking the leap. We've got the fool coming out, Aries energy. They want something new. You know, all their love is for you. It's spilling out of this cup. We've got the wheel of fortune coming out also. So it's like this, this karmic turn, like this is your karma that you get some type of judgment call. I feel like this person's woken up and got a judgment call also because we've got that the temperance coming out. They realize they've missed some type of opportunity. They want to come in with some type of truth, something new. They're ready to do this, I feel, in the future. And they're going to make their way towards this nine of coins. What's the nine of coins for Pisces? We've got the Eight of Cups, the Emperor, and the Ten of Swords, the world. So in the future, I feel Pisces, we've got the Nine of Coins coming out. You know, there's some type of abundance, you know, that's coming into your life. I feel in the future, this person does want to come in, but I feel they're holding back on this situation. I feel like your boss energy is coming out. Uh, this betrayal, you've walked away from, you know, this betrayal, this ending into something that's abundant, something that's going to come towards you, some type of great fortune. With the emperor coming out, I feel like you're making the decisions. You're the daddy. You could be reaching the world with the world coming out with something in the material world. But there's abundance I feel coming towards you. I feel this person wants to come in with emotion, but I feel this isn't the right time, I feel, for them and for you. I feel this is this is where Divine wants you to focus on some kind of wish fulfillment, and I feel something's going to come in, like something in the material world. But there's some type of success coming towards you from from the help of somebody I feel but this happens after you leave that situation you know that past because in the future there is someone that wants to come towards you but there's some type of abundance that's coming first okay so I'm going to do an extended I'm going to see you know what energies are around there is someone that wants to come in we'll grab out the tower of sexual magic and 
we'll see what's going to happen with that. We'll see what they want to say with the Aphrodite Oracle cards. We'll grab out my guided messages. But to me, there is an energy around you, someone that wants to come in with love. But I feel like there's a great fortune coming first. I feel this person could be coming in in up to a week. Someone that missed an opportunity with you. You know, but everything happens for a reason, Pisces. So yes, as I said, if you wanted to purchase the extended, there will be a link in the description. What's the lovers? What's the lovers for Pisces? We have the Two of Cups. But to me also, there's another energy that you are probably connecting with right now. If they're not in your energy now, they're coming in very shortly. As I said, it could be up to a week this person's coming in. There's someone coming in towards you, but there's also abundance. So we've got the Count of Coins. And the Six of Cups. So making a choice on a soul connection, I feel like someone that manipulated you, someone that kept you imprisoned, someone that wanted you on a leash, someone that was a soul connection, they could have Earth in their chart, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but you're making a choice on the soul connection to end it. And I feel when you end it, there's a rebirth of yourself. There's someone new coming in. What's death? But that ex is thinking about you, but they're not going to come in. But I feel, you know, you, you have someone around you. We've got the wheel. So there's some kind of good fortune coming for you. The wheel of fortune, Sagittarius energy. The Seven of Swords. And the Knight of Coins. So, as I said, you're going to leave a situation. There's someone that does want a rebirth. I feel like they're getting their karma at the moment over some type of ending, some type of manipulation. With the Knight of Coins coming out, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, this is a slow mover, someone that comes in and out of your life. But I feel like you're walking slowly towards abundance and towards love. So yes, as I said, um, I will be doing an extended, so check it out if you want to know some more things about this situation, about this new energy coming in towards you, about this old energy, you know, what people have to say. One card for the collective. We got two. How deep is your love? Bee Gees, Sad Songs, Elton John. And on the back of the deck, Kokomo, The Beach Boys. So listen to those songs. They will have messages for you in them. Messages for Pisces. Inner unity. And on the back of the deck, unwavering faith. Inner unity. There is a choice you need to make, possibly between an old and new something or someone. Harmonious understanding will arrive when you tap into your heart's desires. So keywords, decisions, needs, inner harmony. So there's a decision you need to make between the old and new, and you need to make that now. And once you make that decision, new doorways will open for you. The light and the path will shine. <coughs> Unwavering faith. <coughs> when there is stillness and clarity in your heart, it is possible to tap into the faith vibration. Not just on a mental level, but on a feeling level. So keywords, trust, self-belief, expansion. So trust in the universe. Know that divine has your back. 
there's something good coming towards you some kind of great fortune some kind of new love um but yes divine always has your back so i'm gonna leave it there pisces if i don't see you in the extended thank you all for watching liking subscribing joining my patreon joining my youtube memberships buying me hot chocolates paypal donations and super thanks everything you do it means so much i love being here i love having you here i love checking the energy today pisces is i feel you know, you're rocking it you know things are tough things are tough at the moment but you're pushing through it's hard for pisces pisces are very emotional people uh so you know you're doing great and just know every day is a new day but there's some kind of new new coming towards you so get ready so i hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and i'll see you all again tomorrow bye bye